Hi, Mark Savage here, and welcome to my channel. Today's chat, back box or no back box? There are a few more videos coming up with this bike. Yes, it's a Triumph Tiger 800. I've got another one. I do like them. Um, but another video coming up with that, and of the Yoshi exhaust as well. That should be a nice video. But today we're gonna to talk about back box. Do you love them or loathe them? When it comes to an adventure bike or a touring bike, personally, I think a back box is a must and this one's got panniers as well. And this can set you back a lot of money for the original ones. Today, we're looking at fitting the Triumph aluminium hard case ones. Now, new and fit to this bike, you need to look at 1,300 pound extra. It's a lot of money, but they are really made well. And as I said, this one comes with it. So it's got the side casings as well. But on the panniers, on this particular model and on BMWs, they cut a big chunk for the exhaust. So it sort of makes it very small and not big enough to really get a helmet in. That's why I do love back box. You have to fit this plate. Because they're detachable, I quite like them. This will fit in like this. So if it's not on there, it still looks quite nice. And you can have a back box in as well. And it really is only four bolts to get this little plate off. Same sort of bolts to get it back on again and job done as long as they're tight. I have recently seen a GSXR 750 um, with a back box on it and that that to me is a no you know it's a, it's a simple it's a sports bikes so you should not have them use a tank bag use a backpack but do not put a back box or panniers on a sports bike I had this with a ZZR 1400 uh, I loved I've had a few ZZR 14s and one with panniers on and it didn't look too bad but I just don't think you can go a back box on them what's your views anyway let's quickly fit this see what you think it's relatively simple you just take this black plastic cover off with four bolts and you fit this base plate so then connect this plate to it a few bolts top box on right away into the sun it seems not so i've got the plate the rear plate and the box and all these bolts and a few nuts and i cut the spaces i thought it's gonna be simple no so i've done these four wiggle this off and then I realized that uh, there's nothing here. It's just an empty space. It's just a missing cover now with all the bits you can see. There was these two extras with it as well. So I sort of placed that there and uh, it marries up with the two bolts that hold these handles on here. But you can't leave a whacking great big hole where the rain would get through and to the electrics. So I'm thinking now have to drill holes through this these two I'm guessing connect here and go on to these fitments here so this would connect obviously once the bolt was off to there so now it holds here and here to here and here you just can't have that there can you so this needs to sort of do this then doesn't it which means I've got to drill two holes through here to marry up with the holes here and then slash some holes I guess through here as well to be able to connect on to connect this on not so simple and yes I have no destructions I call them instructions which may have been handy today because there's a lot more bolts in there than I would expect so it's not going to be so simple so this video may be a little bit longer than you uh, thought but it does give a good process of when you buy something or get something. <laughs> when I bought this, I had a haggle with him to have the back box. And he went to me, um, uh, could you fit the back box? And I thought, yeah, four bolts, it'd be simple. And now I realise why he didn't fit the back box. However, it is key to like, which is handy to the ignition. So that's not too bad. Right, a little bit more of cutting, drilling and sawing and the rest of it. And a few hours later, hopefully I'll have a back box fitted. I will show you the process as I go along. Crazy man. Who'd buy a Triumph anyway? As this is going to be a guessing game, let's just show you what I'm doing as I do it. It makes a lot more sense, and if you come up across this, whether you've got the instructions or not, at least it will help. So, my first guess was correct. Undo these bolts in here and fit these two. So, one there and one there. Because now, if you look, they line up. Good, so undo these two next, and that will lay flat. Now I haven't got to cut this, I'm just guessing I've got to work out when I fit that back where they are on here and drill holes through here. 
and then this is the main fixings onto the bike. So far, so good. And I'm guessing that some of the bolts I've got, I don't need, like these long ones, I'm assuming would have gone in here for, but I've got panniers on my ones, so they may not be needed. And some of these ones here are shorter, so they may be longer now to go in there. So a bit of guesswork and it's not gonna go 100% correct and easily fit on, but you understand the process. So two bits on so far, I haven't tightened them up yet. I'm gonna make sure they're all lined up before I really tighten them up because obviously there's a lot of weight to this back box and it's gonna sit on the back and hopefully not fall off. So, draw some holes in here next to line them up then. But uh, these four bolts I don't need because I already have them on my bike because I've got the side panniers. So there we have the back plate on. These go in here. I've now tightened these up. This plate nicely fits that way. Right, is it? Go under there then. And that go on top. And then draw the plate into there. So I'm thinking now, this plate goes under here and tightens in that way. Then this goes on top, covers it underneath. And then this, probably with these ones now, sits on top like that. Much nicer, much neater. That's what I'm going for. Wish me luck. <laughs> Makes sense, still nice and tidy, the plate's underneath, and they switch down on there. Let's go for that, shall we? Ooh. Had to drill four holes in the plastic, that fitted nicely on, had to elongate them slightly because you're just using your fingers to where they were, and I was right. So, these four bolts here, were for the side and the bottom, which I already had on, so they can go. These four, I have no idea. Um, there's nothing, from, nowhere for them to go, so they're not going on. Spacers, again, I don't know. And the two nuts, I'm assuming possibly would have gone where they go through, so we know they go with them and don't need them. And that's possible the spacers were for. So, nicely on. Now I've got to do is just screw these down. Now this plate moves. All the um, Triumphs seem to have this moving mechanism, you know, ready for wind, so it doesn't pull the bike, it has a little extra. Oh, obviously it works. Sort of worries you that if it jerks and then goes over that little bit more, that it will flip you over. But it doesn't, they've looked into it. And I had a 2016 model, as I said, nice Yossi. Dirty, video coming up on how that sounds. This bar system I like a lot better than the original one has like a um, rail that goes on this is much better but I do have this weird sort of thing here where they sit and I was worried about the back peg not a lot of room there is there anyway we'll have a look so we're on the up it turned out that I needed just extra six bolts which I put in here and connect them that way and this should working out be nice and I do like the fact it's not too intrusive I can still ride about the back box if I wish as I said earlier you know what is your views whether you think a bike should have a back box or whether you think they look better without them um, sports bikes I don't think should and touring bikes and these adventure bikes it's a must isn't it so nice way to go somewhere um, and be able to take your helmet off and put it in the back box if you watch my Yarmouth um, GS1200 I had the one I yeah, fell off. Uh, if you watch that video on my channel, yeah, it was just lovely. I had the, the back box, I had the side panniers, and you can take your jacket off, um, your helmets in there, gloves and balaclavas and everything else, and you can put them all in there, and you can walk around like any other tourist does, you know, in just shorts and t-shirt. Um, it's really, really nice, I've got to say. Um, so it's a must, really. Right, I'm gonna make sure they're over tight. I'm gonna make sure they're really tight. And then let's see if we can get this back box on. I'm sure there's torque settings. I'll do a mark tight. Not using a great big bar, so I'm getting the bit I need. Now, when I get this on, I will, of course, make sure after a few trips it's not gone loose. But the bolts that I put on here stay tight because you do not want it falling off 
to you. All right. Seat. Looks okay. Now, fit in this back box, I had to use a drill um, and just an 8mm, 12mm, and 13mm socket and a 12mm spanner. You know, I don't know how much they charge at a garage. They've got to look at 65 pounds per hour and all that sort of rubbish if you're going to fit it. So, save yourself some money, fit it yourself. Let's have a go. Ready for the back box to go on. Now, <laughs> there is something on here that you don't think you have to take off, and yet you do. And I did watch a guy say that he got his back box, the guy spent ages trying to fiddle with it and get it on, and he couldn't get it on. And I looked and I thought, that's a bit odd. Underneath here, we have this little mechanism, which obviously locks in. And on some of them, I'm guessing you can have electrics as well. But with that there, you are never going to be able to do it. This, I'm assuming, is just if you don't put it on. You don't need that on. So, top tip, make sure you don't leave this here, otherwise it will not fit on. And I think what the other guy did in the video was he left it on, he clipped it down, rammed it in, and of course it may have fell off or something. This does not stay on the bike. Keep it somewhere, safe. And now, this should just, yeah, look at that. That just nicely fits on now. Oh yeah, obviously that was what was wrong with it. Clips in. Now that's job done. Okay, it may not look particularly pretty, but I'll get all my bits in there. There we have it. Back box fitted on the bike, but my helmet there may get a bit of buffering. I don't know, but it goes on and off quite easy. He says. And I suppose if you're not using it, you just put this bung back in here. Job done. Right. Gonna go for rideys, cut days at work, check it's all still secure and still tight, and I'm happy with that. Thank you for watching. Now you know what it's like to fit things with a manual and instructions and so on. It wasn't that hard really, was it? As I said, coming up, a vlog ride on this, a nice review of this, and the Yoshi exhaust on this one as well. And I do have an upcoming channel called Mark Savage's Life Hacks. I'm not using them on this channel because they're just little bits and bobs that will hopefully top tips and help you. That's what I'm good for, top tips, hopefully. <laughs> Listen, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourselves on the road.